Hello, welcome to this TDK tutorial. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use TDK from your own code, in particular from your own C code using VTK. So, TDK comes with uh, wrappers for TDK, which will make your life much easier in practice, especially if you already know a bit about VTK. So, here I will assume that you downloaded and decompressed the TTK source code and data tarballs to uh, the directory called TTK here. Okay. And of course, that you uh, successfully installed TTK. So, to create a new program uh, using VTK and TTK, we'll go to the source a directory here. And we'll create a directory called my program, my VTK program. Okay. Uh, to get started, we'll need to use uh, a semicolous uh, file to uh, explain uh, to the compiler how to build our program. So we'll copy one from uh, the actual TTK distribution. So we'll take uh, this one, which is a very simplistic uh, semic file, and copy it here. And we'll open it now. Okay. So here we will change uh, the name of the project to my VTK program, like this. And we will do uh, the same at the bottom. Okay. So TTK uh, comes with several wrappers as I explained. And here I will change uh, the wrapper. I would use uh, Scalafield Smoother, which is a component of TTK. Okay, and here basically this means we'll need to write a file main.cpp that contains uh, our uh, C++ code. And that's pretty much it for as far as uh, CMake is, is uh, concerned. We'll save this and we'll close it. And now we'll create a C++ file called main.cpp. Okay, so here we'll create uh, the mandatory functions for um, C++ program. Okay. What we're going to do is that we're going to load some uh, um, data file, we're going to apply some TTK processing, and then we're going to save uh, the output to disk. Okay. So for this, we need to include a few uh, headers. So here we'll include the uh, header to uh, read some data file. We will include the one to write the data file, and we'll include the header for the file field smoother. There. So now we'll instantiate an object to read the input data uh, like this. We'll call it reader. Okay. We'll specify a uh, finding for this guy. In particular, we will use uh, this one here. Okay. We'll say date, and at this point uh, we can uh, have access to the data. So now we'll instantiate uh, VTK Scalafield Smoother, which is a, a wrapper of our Scalafield component, uh, Scalafield Smoothing uh, component. So we'll press it like this. which is uh, the standard VTK way to allocate some uh, objects. And we'll set the input data with reader. Okay. So all the wrappers that we provide for VTK are actually um, VTK dataset algorithms, which means that you can use them as any uh, VTK filter, which means that you can connect 
some input data this way, you can retrieve some output data very easily in the standard DTK way of doing things. So next we'll uh, let's say that we want to iterate for 30 iterations and we'll ask this filter to compute. All right. Now that this is done, we will write this to disk, like this. We'll call this output TI. And here we'll retrieve uh, the data out of the smoother in the standard uh, VTK way of doing things. And we'll write this to disk. And that's pretty much it. So here we read some data and uh, we fed that into our uh, wrapper and we asked our wrapper to compute and then we wrote this to disk. So if you want to know more about the features that are available, available in our VTK wrappers, I recommend to go uh, to our website and to the documentation page and to load here the developer documentation which is generated by DocsGen. You go to models and here VTK wrappers and you have the exhaustive list of um, wrappers that we provide for VTK and how to use them. All right, so if we go back now to our code, I can save this and close it and we'll compile it. We'll create a build directory. We'll go there. We we'll call CMake. Okay. We'll compile. There we go. And now we can run our program. And here we loaded some uh, values and we uh, smoothed this data set. And we can have a look. Here we have an output.bti file and we can open it with our view. And here is the data that's been smoothed. And we can have a look at the uh, original data, which was here. You see that at the bottom I have the original data and at the top I have the data that we've just smoothed. Okay. So now you know how to uh, write some C++ code um, that uses uh, TTK. This is as simple as this. If you're already uh, familiar with TTK, uh, this should be uh, really easy for you. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.